Oh, hi there. Um, well, water table's in, as you can see. Uh, got the feet cut out. This is the, uh, the cuts that are coming off it, which I am very happy with. That's nice plasma cuts. Um, absolutely ideal. Radiuses, corners, all good. Got rid of all the judder that was in it. Um, as you can see by the veins, I've been doing quite a bit of cutting. Uh, yeah, so it works straight. Oh, excuse me, sneezing. Um, only thing I've got to do now is make the box for this and the pedestal uh, to hold everything else. But what I'm actually doing now is building mine. So I'm just going to show you the size of it. It's going to be quite a beast. Um, it's no different to um, the little one, other than the fact that it's just longer. Uh, so just a couple of things I just want to uh, kind of uh, get across really is that when you're building these frames they've got to be as flat as you can possibly make them um, and as square as you can possibly make them because you want one end to be a datum end and that's going to be this end in this case. Uh, another note is the weld seams. Uh, I can't tell you how many taps I've broken trying to go through weld seams because you can see right here that little weld seam is a tap breaker uh, if you drill there. So if you put them where you know you're not going to do any tapping, e.g. inside the frame, you see I've done it both sides, there and there, it will just prevent a lot of aggravation. The other thing that I'm doing is uh, just to be on the safe side. I know, I know this is spouted all over the internet and there's plenty of... Uh, plenty of tutorials on it but it's just about getting it square um, if you use one straight edge clamp one of your rails to it then you can tack on the inside of here and the inside of here and you can get it pretty square and you measure across the diagonals from there through to here um, and you want those as accurate as you can possibly get it so what I will do is that once I've um, got it square I will probably just put a little tack somewhere on the base at the other end to hold it square uh, while I put the rest of the, uh, the cross members in. Really can't emphasize the importance of that because the squareness of the bed will dictate how square, uh, how square your beam is going to be because you will measure off one end uh, to this point and from one end for this point. You'll want both sides to be the same you don't want to be messing around trying to figure out how you're going to get your beam square after you've built the damn thing so um, it's it is important so anyway what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a little bit more of this and come back in a little while so see you in a bit uh, well here we are again got this far a little bit knackered um, you can see the big one now it's got bracing everywhere uh, that's essential I think it is super solid super stiff uh has to be so uh still got the top welds to do but uh i just thought i'd uh, show you where we're at so that one there has to have the same sort of bracing uh which i know how to do isn't so difficult after all well it's not that i didn't know how to do it it's just you know getting around to doing it after i built it but there we go i didn't think it would need it it needs it so this is it this is the one, this is the, probably the last one I shall build. Uh, these are exceptionally hard work and very, very long winded process. But if you want it done properly, you've got to do it properly, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, that's it so far. Um, I made sure everything was as square and as flat as possible. Uh, I don't know whether you can see, but I've eyed down these beams. Uh, to make sure that they stayed as flat as I possibly can. The trouble with, with sticking a weld in the middle is that without doubt you can get a little bit of warpage. Um, it's, it's a fact, there's not a lot you can do about it. Um, I never really like, uh, what do you say? Uh, I never really like welding halfway through. A piece of box has got to be nice and flat and strong and straight. I'd prefer to bolt it, but I just haven't got the uh, I haven't got the time. 
So, anyway, there we have it. I uh, hope you like it so far. Uh, I should have it looking... I mean, this is the Mini Me version. Uh, those two bars there are for extra supports across there for the water table. Put those in in a minute. And uh, so yeah, spent another hour or so on it. Uh, nothing really to show you. Uh, it's just a bunch of welding on my hands and knees. And uh, hopefully the components will turn up for next weekend and I can start putting her together. Get the rails on, uh, get all the beam made up and do all the other stuff I need to do. Uh, I mean, the beam's cut, we just need to make it up. I'm beginning to think maybe I'm just a little bit over ambitious with the size of this thing because it's got to go in there. Uh, it's going to be real tight. Um, you need quite a lot of space around it, so I'm going to see if I can get it up in the corner in a minute once I've welded it up um, right alongside the, the chiller. Now, I'm not sure that's a really good idea. What I may have to do is move the chiller to the other side of the um, to the other side of the receiver down there and see what we can do about uh, making ourselves a bit more room. I just don't like the fact, mind you to be fair, you rarely use the full length of a 8x4 profiler if you are, you know, doing small runs and small shop jobs like I'm doing. Uh, very, very rarely would you use the whole thing, but the fact is, is it is there to be used and I'm going to use it. It's just the water tray is going to be massive. But you know, once it's in, it's in. So uh, it isn't going anywhere. All I got to do now is find somebody who can powder coat this thing. It's a bit of a beast. So I'm just going to go around and see my mate now, see if he can fit it in his oven, get him to have a look at it and see what he says. So hope you like the video. Uh, I will show you uh, bolting on the other bits at a later date, probably next weekend. Uh, please subscribe or like or dislike and not subscribe, whatever. Uh, it's, uh, it is helping me get on with these, too, strangely enough. It's always in the back of my head that uh, I've got to show you guys uh, what I'm doing and pretty much how I'm doing it from, you know, step by step. And it's, it's nice. It motivates me. So, like I say, like and subscribe. Uh, see you all soon. Take care now. Cheers.